Punjabi Reader 6A 2019 edition lesson now which Tanuji Ayanu. Aj da part kuj okha ho sakda hai te ho sakda hai ke tanu kuj nu mushkal aave kyunke vocabulary shabda de matlab sikhne is a big deal. It helps with your comprehension. So you're going to read a lesson on bullying um, next week. But before we read that, we need to uh, learn some vocabulary that you will find in there. So here are the words. Um, there's lots of them, 14 words. And then here are the meanings. And then we know what parts of speech they are. Knowing part of speech helps us with understanding of the sentences. Okay? So the word is ankatte. Ankatte means uncut. An and an sound the same, right? Yeah, they're cognates. Anpad. Anpad means illiterate. Now notice that we can say an or an. Okay, these both are good prefixes. Gurn mean quality, qualities. Koshis is try. Kad means height. Bura is bad, you know, bad or evil. Lambai is length. Um, and uh, here there are part of, parts of speech. Uh, Adhar means basis. Rabdi Shakti means power of God. Baharli means outwardly. Anokhi is unique. Vatira means behavior or conduct. Apsi means mutual. And Akar means shape. So any shape you know, is called Akar. <coughs> Vyakran is grammar. So what kind of grammar are you going to encounter in this lesson? There are several language structures. You can use suffixes, prefixes to differentiate genders, specific nouns, verbs, and adjectives. Then you will also learn the pronouns, the possessive nouns. Many nouns in Punjabi need suffixes when we um, use them as plurals. For example, ladkia is a plural possessive noun. We can add many prepositions to it to create different um, meaning uh, words. For example, ladkia da, jan ladkia nu are possessives for the word larka and they mean off boys or two boys. Ladkia da means off boys, ladkia nu means two boys. So nu is a postposition or preposition and da is a postposition or a preposition. What do you think possessive noun admianda means? So we know ladkianda is means of boys. Admianda means of men, right? What do you think the possessive noun admianu means? So nu means two, right? Two men. What do you think possessive noun gurdwarya de means? Gurdwarya de means of the gurdwaras. Use the phrase in a sentence gurdwarya which? So inside the gurdwaras or in gurdwaras. Okay? So you will use, write one sentence using gurdwarya which. Gurdwarya which Guru Granth Sahib Hundehan. Gurdwarya which langar vartaya janda hai. So you can write anything you want to. Another grammar point is the prefixes, an, ja, an. So you uh, went on suffixes, the, which were the um, additions to the words like a, uh, we added a, uh, um, then we learned post positions, and here are prefixes. An, ja, an is a prefix that changes the meaning of the word to mean its opposite. Pad means read, but an pad means illiterate. Similarly, kate means cut. Uh, good word, but ankatte means uncut. I don't know what good words means. I think we don't need this here. Here are some more words with these prefixes. Learn to read and write them and their meanings. Copy each word three times. You will copy them here. Take a katte, ankatte. So you write uncut. Ankatte, ankatte, ankatte. Pad, anpad. Educated or uneducated. You write anpad, anpad, anpad. Dekhya, undekhya. Seen, unseen. Kai bari asi kai galla undekhya kar deya. Mai undekhya kar ditta, right? Jadun koi kise nu bulli kar reya si, to si kadi bhi unnu undekhya nahi karna. You have to notice, you have to look who's being bullied. Bolya, unbolya. Kai bari asi unbolya 
Shabad Samajanya. So somebody smiles, right? They haven't said anything, but they're anbulle. Um, you can understand that they're happy, right? Sunya and Sunya, heard and heard. Kaivari galt galna sun ke sanu and Sunya karna penda. We have to pretend we didn't hear, otherwise we'll get too hurt. Jan and Jan. So Anjan means unknowledgeable. So Kaivari um, Asi Anjan Hunya. Sanu Patani Hunda what happened, right? If a crime happens, Asi Anjana, Sanu Pataini what happened. Pachata and Pachata, known and unknown, identified or un unidentified. Ik an pachata uh chor um sande gwandi de karaya. We didn't know who he was. Anpachata, he was unidentified uh, thief. Okay? So lots of words, make sure you know them, you've learned to read them, you know their meanings and um, copy them here. If you have time, if you have the desire to master them, use each one of the words in sentences. Okay? Now here your homework is, here are your words from uh, the lesson that we are going to read next. Here are the meanings, you're going to connect them. Ankatte means uncut right here. Okay? And uh, that is the lesson for today. So hopefully this wasn't too bad and I will see you in the next lesson very soon. Thank you for working with me. Vahigur Jika Khalsa, Vahigur Jiki Fateh.